Good morning, good morning. It's Erica here from Me To You Paper Crafts in sunny, oh my gosh, sunny Victoria. Um, I have uh, lots to tell you. We are creeping up on our new catalog release on May the 2nd. That's really, really mm -hmm. exciting. And um, I want to tell you a little bit about event, an event that I attended on Saturday. It was a Stampin' Up! event up in Nanaimo. And I want to talk to you about what I'm going to be making today. I have found a really fun card layout with uh, a few layers, but it can be incorporated with any kind of a stamp set or style that you want. We are using Seaside Bay. Very excited. This is carrying forward in the new catalog. But what is not carrying forward, as usual, are the designer series papers. So I'm going to show you the designer series papers. And I just looked them up on my store, and they are currently on sale for $16.80. I'll talk more about that. So if you already have Seaside Bay and you want to get more paper, now's the time to do it. Or if you love the set, when I show you this card today, of course you're going to love the set, uh, then you may want to purchase this and you should get the paper now, okay? Uh, what else do I want to tell you? I think that's it. So I'm going to turn my camera down. My I, I will apologize, my desk is a disaster zone because I was creating yesterday using up some papers that are retiring. I can show you those cards. Um, it's the Hues of Happiness. I just absolutely love that stamp set um, and it's retiring. But um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so down comes the camera. Uh, rotate and then down we come onto my desktop. So I hope everyone is well and that you had a really good weekend. You can chat in the um, chat box and let me know what you did on the weekend and maybe what you've got planned for this week. So if you have any birthday cards to prepare for, this is a lovely layout. Both masculine, feminine, all layouts um, port to that. Um, Okay, so let's just show you. I've got all the measurements here for you too. So you might want to uh, either follow along with me and cut quickly or <laughs> take down the measurements and then you can make a card later. And please, I'm trying to encourage everybody, if you make a card, please post it back to this video feed in my From Me To Paper Crafts Facebook page because I'd love to see what you're making and so would everybody else who's watching. All right, so this is the stamp set. I'll show you, this is in the Spring Mini, so you can still order this as a bundle. So uh, the advantage of ordering it as a bundle is that you save 10%. So in the new catalog, it's unbundled, which means that you order the um, stamp set and the dies separately, okay? And then you don't get the 10% off. So if you like what you see, now's the time to buy it and then get the paper and then there are also these beautiful and these i don't think are carrying forward they rarely carry forward embellishments but these flat adhesive back pearls and they do they look just like pearls that you would find in an oyster they're flattened so you can mail it out with these pearls on it they're absolutely lustrous is the word i want to use and then there's this beautiful uh ribbon this is a I think it's pool no it's balmy blue with a white and it's very very soft and pliable so we're going to use that today on the card we're going to use some of these on the card today so that's kind of the whole suite with the papers so uh, you might want to think about purchasing this now because it's carrying forward which means that I will be making more cards uh, uh, moving forward okay um now Let's move to these beautiful papers. Wait to see these papers. There are um, some beautiful reverse sides and then they have also brought in gold foil. So let's just show you. So I'm using these two patterns today for today's cards. So we've got these beautiful muscles on this paper and some beautiful ocean waves. And so on the back, they're bringing in, there's some iridescent um, patterns on there and then on this one there is more iridescence okay so they're bringing lots of iridescence with these papers then you've got this lovely pattern also depicts um, kind of looks like you know this sand when the waves retract 
you've got those sort of scalloped edges and then the back is some gold um, patterns and then you've got some beautiful seashells on this piece and you get four sheets of each which is great and then on the back of this is this with some gold that's just beautiful now one of the colors in here um, is retiring let me just find my paper um, so let's see mint macaron is retiring so if you don't have mint macaron you might want to try and get some right now and everything else is oh and Sahara sand is retiring so mint macaron and Sahara sand those two colors are retiring so if you want those colors you may think about getting those as well but you can always use the other colors are in here the other colors you've got night of navy you've got pool party balmy blue coastal cabana uh, petal pink yeah so you've got lots of other colors if you have them so then there's this print in the blues and the greens and look, check this one out. This is so pretty. The papers are just gorgeous. So as I'm saying, it's on sale. I will actually be ordering another package too. Okay, and look at these lovely little sandpipers here. I believe they're sandpipers. Correct me if I'm wrong. And some crabs. And then look at this. I love this. The swirly um, um, fish. I think there's a name for that when they all converge together like that okay and then you've got this 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 actually I love this piece because to me this looks like the beach with some sand here and then you've got the sky so you can turn that into a scenic card and then you've got more of this iridescence on the back I mean the papers are just unbelievable here is another piece that could be a kind of a beach scene as well with a darker sky with some sand so this kind of makes me think that I'm on a boat and I'm looking out so I'm on the water and I see the beach and then there's the sky so if you happen to have that sailboat um, one or anything with any other stamp sets that you have related to the ocean this would be fantastic paper to use with any set and then check this one out this is beautiful You've got more iridescence. I can't believe how gorgeous this paper is. Then you've got, of course, some really good um, wood grain. I love a wood grain. I love stamping on a wood grain. It's just um, all purpose, I think. And then you've got, again, some crab and little sandpipers and shells on here. So this would make a nice masculine card. We've had several ocean-themed um stamp sets in the past so i'm sure you must have something or just get this one okay and then look at these i love these i love mussels i love to eat them but they're really iridescent with the i love the little petal pink in there it's really pretty then you've got this one and on the back of this one is fish but a different background now you've got the mint macaron background Okay, so it's kind of cool. They repeat some of the patterns, but they change up the color. And then you've got, again, the crabs and the shells and the birds on this one, different colors. And then you've got this. So what do you think, you guys? Uh, this paper is just to die for. It's absolutely stunning. It'll make wonderful boxes. Oh, my gosh. It's just beautiful. And it's sad when they retire. And more than likely, I will continue to use it even when I'm doing some cards in the future, because I encourage you to use up your papers. So there you go. But papers do retire, but stamp, stamp sets can live on. Okay, let's move to the card now. Now I haven't put my stickers on. You see, I bought this late. When I found out it was carrying over, I don't know why I didn't buy it initially. I, well, I already bought a whole bunch of stuff and I was already playing with a whole bunch of stuff. I always intended to get this and I intended to get it earlier, but didn't. Then when I saw it was carrying over, I said, okay, Erica, now's the time to get it because you can use it for future videos for everybody. And so um, I just got it. So I haven't yet put on any of the stickers and I'm not quite sure what stamp I'm going to use yet. So let's leave that for now. And for those of you who are new to me or new to Stampin' Up, I can show you how I put my stickers on. Okay, so and then here are the dies. Look at the dies. So you can cut out 
the crab. You can cut out this beautiful shell and um, it puts a couple of score marks in there so that you can um, have it open. You've got a whole bunch of shell seashells that you can, little scallops that you can cut out. You've got this um, oyster with the pearl in it. You can cut that out. You've got the bird to cut out. You've got some grasses that you can cut out. You've got some more little birds here. And then you have this fabulous um, torn piece so you can create tears. So this will create layers of sand. So if you have Sahara sand as a cardstock, um, or you could use crumb cake, you could um, cut out a, a bunch of strips and then layer them to create your sandy look. Lots you can do with this. I'm really excited to use this set. I love an ocean set. And then you've got some little sprinkles in here for the sand and a pearl. Look at the pearl. Check out the pearl, but check out these pearls. These pearls are nicer than just a cut out pearl, I think. Anyway, but you can use your Rinka Stella. Use your Rinka Stella on your pearls. Okay, I'm so excited. All right. Now, as I uh, have told you in the past, when I get a brand new set, I take the dies out. I put them on my printer and I photocopy it so that I have this so that when I'm putting them away, I know what's potentially missing. So I put it back on this folder here and I glue it to the back. So I just take my tape runner and I just put a bit of tape on here. So this is just an organizational tip for you. And then I stick this to the back, like so, okay? So then when I'm putting my dies away, I can put them in. Now, I'm going to start, I think, using, um, these papers have this glue strip on it, and then it ends up sticking to the paper, and it's kind of a pain in the neck. And then the, the dies get all sticky as the um, as as the tape ages, the dies get kind of sticky. So on Amazon, I know that you can purchase a package of, oh my gosh, I think they're, I don't think they're quite four by six, but they're these thin magnetic sheets. And then you can put them in the stamp case. You can just lie the magnetic sheet on here and then put all your dies on there. Okay. So I think I'm going to start doing that. I used to do it years ago and then I stopped for whatever reason. Um, but I think I'm going to start it up again because it's really frustrating dragging these dies in and out and sticking them back on this paper. So there's another organizational tip for you. All right. Here are, is your card base. Now let me just check and see who's joined me this morning. Donna. Hi, Donna. It was nice seeing you at the event. Donna was at the event. Hi, Christine. Good morning. Nice of you to join this morning. Okay. If I'm talking too fast, let me know. But I get pretty excited about. Well, I just love doing these videos for you guys. Okay, so I'm doing my bone folder and I'm scoring my card base. All right, here are your layers now. So I've got this first layer is a standard four by five and a quarter inches. Okay, that's going to go on the card base. Four by five and a quarter. Okay, then I've got a piece of the designer series paper and I chose the ocean waves. This is this um, Sahara sand color on the back, but I wanted to use the ocean waves. And this is um, a finer cut at three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. Okay. That's that layer. I need another light, I think. Here we go. And then I have another balmy blue. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the first layer is balmy blue. Then I've got a second balmy blue layer. This is three by four and a quarter. And then I have another piece of the designer series paper, the reverse of the um, muscles. Um, I'm using this kind of swirly peat pattern. I don't know, I thought that would be too busy. So I'm going to turn it over. And this layer now is two and three quarters by four. Okay. Now, when you do your layers, you can decide to center this right on this card, or you can put it in the bottom left right hand corner or the bottom right hand corner. Um, you could 
completely reverse this um, a landscape card so you can do any okay lots of fun and then I'm going to do something on top of this I will probably I'm kind of gravitating towards the crab the crab is kind of cool um, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet so and I might want to cut out some other stuff here I love the le the um, the grasses so we'll have to decide that all right let's start so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue I'm going to keep all my measurements and I'll put them in the description when I'm done okay I'm going to keep those all right now I'm going to use Tombow glue just when it's a very fine um, layer. I'm going to use Tombow just so that I can move it around a bit. Okay, so I'm going to layer this on here. Aren't these waves beautiful? And I love the color combinations. I'm really excited for the new catalog to see how color combinations come together with the new colors that are coming out. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, so you could even uh, bring in basic gray. This is kind of a, a gray, basic gray color. You've got your Knight of Navy. You've got your pool party. You've got your mint macaron. You've got your white. Lots of colors on there. Okay. Now I want to incorporate the ribbon in this card. And I think I'm going to do the ribbon on this layer here. So let's glue these two pieces together now. Now this one I made a little bit wider. It's fun to change up your uh, layers. And before someone asks the question, yes, it's very, very sad when you have to decide which side of the DSP you want to use. And my answer to that is pick something and then just make another card. <laughs> and then you get to use the other side. All right, so that's going to go on there. Uh, now, I want to decide on what I want to do on here. Maybe you guys can help me. Should I do the bird as the focus, the, the um, oyster, or the crab? what should I do this is going to be great for the inside of the card so while you help me decide I'm going to show you now how I do my lab my uh, stickers I like to put stickers on my cards. so what I do is I don't take the stamps out of this rubber backing I just peel off all of these pieces here okay now I'm not going to do the whole sheet Erica we don't have time so let's decide what I want to use we might do this big oyster and for the video I might not put all the stickers on okay I'll just um, the nice thing is is that this here is kind of sticky and so you can put this on your acrylic blocks now I haven't cleaned up these blocks from my last project so let's set these aside Let me just put these little flowers away. Okay. And I've got this cut out for another card. As I was saying, I was working on finishing up some other cards. So I want to use those little birds. Yeah, so what was I saying? I was saying that even if you don't put the stickers on, these will stick. See, they'll stick to the acrylic blocks.
Now, not that you need to know this little bit, but I've just cut all my nails down. I haven't had them this short for quite a while. And now I have to get used to to <laughs> using my short nails versus longer nails. Okay. So while I'm chit-chatting away here, I do want to tell you about this fantastic event in Nanaimo. This was hosted by Stampin' Up! Canada. We have a new manager and she lives in Ontario and she came out because she wanted to meet the demonstrators on Vancouver Island, which was great. So we have this big event in Nanaimo. Okay, next step. I peel off the sticker, not just the backing. See, there's a backing on here. I peel off the whole sticker. And then each sticker has a crease in it or a fold, and you can plot take off one half. So this is how I do it. Now, I will admit, my method might be a little bit longer than what other demonstrators do, but um, I find I get the best, best accuracy. So the half that still has the backing on it, that's what I position on the stamp itself, and I get it to line up really well, and then I gently press down the sticky bit. Once this sticky bit is on the stamp, it is not coming off, okay? And then what I do is I do all of them the same way. I just peel them off. So let's just do another one for you. I peel off the whole sticker. Okay, and I peel off half. And then I position it on my stamp and then press down the other half. Now, what else would I want? Did you guys say anything, Christine? Which sentiment are you using? I like the oyster first, crab second, and the bird third. Oyster. Oh, Donna, you said oyster too. All right, we're going with the oyster. All right, I put the sticker on the oyster. Yeah, what greeting? Um, oh, I love this. You are a pearl, rare and precious. Thank you for everything. I'm going to do heartfelt sympathy just because I, every now and then, I feel like I should do a sympathy card just in case. Um, my husband often um, will come home and say, sadly, one of his clients has passed away. So do I have a card? So it's good to have cards on hand. So I'm just seeing the orientation of the stamp and let's stick this one on. So do you get the idea of how I do this? I just kind of position the piece that has the backing on it first. Okay, so we're gonna do the oyster and heartfelt sympathy. Now I want those birds, cause I'm gonna do those, or oh, the seashells on the sand. I want to do these on the inside of the card and maybe the envelope. I love a stamp that you can use for those purposes. So let's put these on. Now I'm going to tell you something to really be aware of when you're doing this is when you're taking off the second half. I like to pull out um, like a silicone craft sheet is what I use. So if you have a silicone craft sheet, then I lay it on this on this half because then I can peel this back and not worry about it sticking. Because if you peel this back on top of this piece, you are going to be in trouble. Okay, so I just peel it off and then it usually just flips over. Okay, so I just protect that half while I peel off the sticker from the second half. And that's kind of my method. Might take a little bit longer, but I've tried lots of other methods and I keep coming back to this method. Everyone has their own way of doing things. 
okay because it drives me nuts if the stickers are not on right that just you know it's one of those quirky things I have all right so now we're going to use the oyster and I keep this on I mean there's no reason you have to keep it on I just do and um, some people throw this whole uh, frame out but I keep it because it tells you again if there's a stamp missing okay let's pull out heartfelt sympathy and let's see is this block big enough yes heartfelt sympathy now, as you can tell, this is the very first time I've used this set, so I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to stand. All right. Okay, ladies, let's start with that, shall we? All right, now I need a piece of basic white cardstock uh, because there is white. My my um, my um, I'm gonna pull in a little piece for the greeting, maybe, and I'm gonna pull in a piece to stamp on. Okay, so. Let's think about this. First of all, I'm going to grab an envelope. Okay, I'm not grabbing an envelope because I don't have any right here. So I'll have to grab that. What else do I want here? Um, I really like circles, so I might grab... I just love these dies, the squares, the circles, and then you've got these for your um, greetings. So I'm going to grab the largest circle. Now, let me just see. I think I can safely glue this. I just want to judge my sizing here. Good morning, Carol. Oh, you're you're camping, aren't you? Okay, I want to let's just glue this on here. We're going to do the ribbon on the other piece, I think. Okay. that's as straight as I can get it okay and then this I'm gonna put kind of in the bottom right hand corner because I want to tie my bow here now let's check this out how does this look ooh that's way too big and maybe let me think about this let's do the oyster first and then we'll die cut it out and then decide I'm designing on the fly this morning okay now um deciding on what to stamp this initially in black might be kind of too uh too stark so I often stamp in another two colors three colors you can oh well four or five colors you can use um crumb cake to stamp an image because it's kind of subtle especially if you're going to use your blends then you can use smoky slate is what i use very often i use smoky slate as a matter of fact i'm going to grab a smoky slate right now And 
I'm grabbing some blends while I'm up. Yeah, Smoky Slate is a good, um, really good for using with flowers. You see how it's um, kind of muted? Now I'm going to wait for that to dry. And now this is an oyster. So I don't know. I'm going to color this maybe in. I'm going to do the outside shell in. This is crumb cake. So let's color. The outside part of the shell in crumb cake and maybe I'll just go over the inside with crumb cake I know they're kind of white on the inside I think um, I think this would be really pretty um, embossed. I'll have to experiment with this. Let's just experiment. Let's take this. Um, this is petal pink. Oh no, this is pale papaya. What's this going to be like? There's a lot of shading in this um, stamp set. Okay. I think that's okay. I am definitely going to use Wink of Stella on the pearl. So let's um, cut this out with the die. Perfect. Let's that quickly run that through my big shot. So there's our seashell. Um, maybe we should do two of these on here. I don't know. I love the paper. I don't want to hide too much of the paper. I could cut out some of these little seashells here. There's a big seashell, a bigger one. And there's some little ones here. So we can cut these out with some petal pink. I happen to have some petal pink cardstock right here. So let's just cut out some of these.
Oh, look at the embossing on these. These are so sweet. <gasps> look at those. Oh my gosh, those are cute. So we could maybe just scatter some other little seashells in here or something. Okay, and oh, I really want to do some, maybe some grasses. I'm going to grab some mint macaron, I think. So I'm just kind of creating a scene here. Sorry, I should have planned ahead a little bit better, but I didn't. Oh, you can cut out the pearl. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, there's a little pearl. And you could pop it up. Oh, no, I think I have this upside down. Ooh, we could do the pearl and then pop it out. That's kind of a cool idea. Actually, or I could just use one of these. I think I might just use one of these since I've got them here. I could put that right in there. Maybe. They're not quite big enough. Let's just see how this works out. I'm going to do this again in um, the Smoky Slate. And then just some Wink of Stella on there. I think that's all we're going to need. Now this is a die that's just calling to be lost. But we're not going to lose it. Let's go cut this out. And then I need to get some mint macaron. Okay, when this purple tape starts to stick more than you want it to on your paper, then it's time to get a new piece. This purple tape I bought off of Amazon. Okay, there's our little pearl. And can I find my... My Wink of Stella, I usually just, it's always on, oh, here it is, see? It's always on my desk. And then we'll pop this up on a dimensional and see how that looks. Okay, so we've got that planned. And I'm going to grab some Mint Macron. I'm really sad this color is retiring, but if we don't retire colors, then we don't get new colors. If that doesn't really make sense, but their warehouse is only so big, really. So let's check these out. Let's cut out both the small and the large. I don't need to stick those down because they're not on an image. Now, as your plates, your acrylic plates, get uh, well used, well loved, they get stuck sometimes. So I just take my pokey 
my pokey tool and I just push them off. Whoops, I push them off the plate. All right, do we have enough elements? Okay, where are my tweezers? So I am going to put a dimensional on here. On the pearl. And let's put this on here. Oh, that's cute. I'm not sure I like how I colored my oyster. What color would you color your oysters, ladies? Yes, the pearl should be on the bottom. Yeah, I'm glad I figured that out. Yeah, you've already commented on that. Oh, hi, Lena, and welcome, Krista. That's more people joining this morning. That's great. Um, yeah. Now, you know how sometimes a card doesn't quite come together for you? Sometimes that happens where you're putting your elements out and maybe your color is wrong or maybe your... I don't know, something's not quite right, but you just have to keep playing with it and maybe change it up. So I think I want that oyster sort of nestled in some grasses, maybe. What do you think of that? I don't like, I don't think I like these. They're not the right color. Maybe I should have just done them in white. Maybe just white. What do you guys think? kind of like that just with all that and I might just put the with sympathy on the top now here's an idea for this piece I've just thought of this ripped piece here so I have an idea for this so what I could do let's put all my dies together over here um I'm going to do this heartfelt symmetry. I'm going to grab my Knight of Navy ink rather than use black. Let's use Knight of Navy. You don't always have to use black for your greetings. Now again, when you're using the red rubber stamps, you want to tap very lightly, just repeatedly tap lightly on your ink pad to avoid getting ink along the edges. And you should always turn it over and have a quick look. Okay. So what I thought I would do, let's just experiment here. I'm going to tape this on my greeting and I'm going to cut that out Oh, check this out. Yeah, I need new tape. Tape is sticking. This tape, you can use it over and over and over and over again, and then it gets kind of extra sticky. So check this out. Look at that edge on there. Can you see that edge? Isn't that cool? Now, 
to decide. I'm going to cut that a little bit more. Let's chop that here. Ooh, can't chop that that way. I have to line it up on a line here. And I might just trim a tad. And look where it fell. It's just, isn't it perfect where it just fell? Look at that. Can okay, I need some ideas. Do I do the seashells or not do the seashells? Maybe even add another behind the shell. What, the grass? Another one behind the shell. Oh, maybe up here. Yeah, let's do this taller one. Maybe up. God, I love designing with you guys. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's do one more. That's garbage. Or recycle, I should say. Let's grab another piece of... Can I fit that on that piece there? Yes, perfect. It's good to do things in threes anyway, right? Oh, yes. I could even straddle it. Okay, it's time to glue this thing down here. Yeah, let's glue this down. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I was going to do ribbon. Maybe I don't need ribbon. I want to use ribbon. We'll just see what it looks like. What's my time like? Oh, boy, I'm getting to the top of the hour. Sorry, ladies. Let's just see if I design with the ribbon how it looks. I don't think I'm liking short nails. A lot of people would ask me, well, how do you work with such long nails? But I can. And short, stubby ones <laughs> don't work for me. I want a small little bow. Oops, that's the wrong one. Some ribbon... It really lets you pull. There we go. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'll design this and then you can tell me what looks. If you like the ribbon or not. Maybe I should put this right smack in the middle now that I think about it because, oh no, I don't know. I kind of like it like that. Okay, let's do this again. So we're going to have one here. I could even tuck the shell. Let's see. And let's do one here. And we'll do the shell. Like that, maybe. 
Maybe a bit more grass. Like that. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, ladies, what do you think? Okay, Christine, have a great day. The grass adds a lot. Perfect. Yeah, okay. So I don't know, I kind of like it just like that. I don't want to overwhelm it. Oh, where's my greeting now? Heartfelt sympathy. So can I still move this over? I can. And then I'm going to do heartfelt sympathy. Right like that. All right, I think I'm going to commit, ladies, because time is moving on. So I'm going to glue this down. Let's move that like that. And let's um, use my Tombow glue for the grasses. So I'm going to just tuck that behind the ribbon like so. And let's tuck this one behind the ribbon on the other side. Like so. With this wavy, of course, it should maybe be wavy the other way around, oriented the other way around, but the wavy um, paper makes it look like it's underwater, don't you think? Now, where's my oyster going to be? And i got to pop this up. I'm going to tuck my oyster right like that. So maybe let's put this one up here, like that. Okay, now I'm going to grab some dimensionals for the oyster. We'll do three dimensionals like that. Oyster in, whoops, put our oyster in right like that, and then heartfelt sympathy. So it's going to tuck, oh, I'm going to tuck that under. So I'm just going to glue this flat, I think. I want to tuck it under like that. Okay, there's our card for today, Mojo Monday. There you go. Oh, I have some sad news. <laughs> I broke my Mojo Monday cup. Oh, I was so sad. I was putting dishes away from the dishwasher, and I had the cutlery basket up on the counter. And as I pulled my Mojo Monday, I know, I should never have put it in the dishwasher, but as I pulled it up out of the dishwasher, the handle of the cup, hit this big spoon that was in the cutlery basket and the and the and, and the um handle broke in two pieces. I was so upset. My Mojo Monday from New Orleans ended up in the garbage. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to post some photos of the event I went to on Saturday. So as I was saying, it was a, an opportunity to meet our new um, demonstrator. Um, it's called a DDM. Now I can't remember the, what it meant. 
uh, uh, demonstrator development manager for Canada. Her name is Genevieve, and she came out. We had a full day, so we had a couple of presentations. We had one from her, and then we had a presentation from from two of our island demonstrators, and they did an absolutely fabulous job talking about gathering with people. So instead of saying, well, come to a class, because some people might be intimidated by a class, we're going to call them gathering. So come and gather for some creativity and um, just to, you know, sit and chat and, and enjoy each other's company. So um, I have a challenge this month that I have to do a gathering. Um, this month, well, I'm already planning, not this month, but next month, I'm already planning another class for April, for May, sorry, after the catalog launches. And I'm also doing a catalog launch as well. So more details will be coming about that. Um, so if you are new to me and you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter, you can find me on my blog at ericaedney.com, ericaedney.com. That's my blog. And all the information, it will be posted up there. And you can subscribe so that you don't miss anything. And um, yeah, there you go. So an open house. I'm going to do an open house for the new catalog launch. And I'm going to do a class in May. Oh, plus I'm going away in May. So I'm hoping I can fit it in. I will be gone for two weeks in May. Um, so there you go. Now, what I didn't use is one of these little pearls. So let's just do one last little thing on here. So then I have used all the elements from the suite, the stamp set, the dies, and the um, ribbon and the embellishments. Look at these. These are just beautiful. So I'm just going to put a little one right there. I think that's all I need. But look, you cannot believe how beautiful these are. Shiny, 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 just like pearls. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. I really appreciate it. If you think you've got other friends who might enjoy my videos, please share. Um, if you make a card, please post and have a super, super week. I will see you Thursday night for another Case the Caddy. Bye for now.